Hey guys, it's Walter Montero here from I Love Cambridge. This week's interview is with a lady by the name of Autumn Fernandez. And uh, we talked to her about her business called One Movement. It's in downtown Cambridge. And it's a, a no bully dance studio. It's a really great conversation. I hope you like it. You're kind of uh, going to jump into right at the beginning of it. Uh, that's why I thought I'd throw in an introduction and uh, just see what you thought. Okay. Anyway, talk to you later. And uh, your name is Autumn Fernandez. It is. Autumn Fernandez. And the name of your company is One Movement? Yeah, One Movement Dance Center. Okay, very good. So tell us, tell us a little bit about that, where you're located, and, and uh, just a little bit about your business. Yeah, so we're located downtown Galt in Cambridge, Ontario at 89 Main Street. And we okay. started there three and a half years ago. So we offer dance lessons to ages three all the way up to adult in ballet, tap, jazz, acro, hip hop, contemporary theater, and break dance. So we offer a wide variety of dance classes. Um, this September, actually, we are moving to a new location, also downtown Galt, which will be on 15 Wellington in the old United Church. Oh, terrific. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. And... Um, so your business now is located, is that in the old courthouse? Is that where? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're, the, we're on the main floor, just under Crunch Fitness. Okay, very good. Okay, I know where you're at. So um, uh, wh who, is, who is your ideal client? You've got quite a, a, a age, age group that you deal with there. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so... Our ideal client is anyone that wants to learn dance classes, really. So um, our little ones, um, we have two different programs for our little ones. So um, from ages three to 18, we have like a recreational program. So they just pick a style of dance, come for that one class a week and take their hip hop class. And then that's what they do for the season, September to June. And then we have a competitive dance program where they dance up to like anywhere from five to 10 hours a week in like ballet, jazz, tap, hip hop, contemporary. So they're taking a wide variety of classes, training more intensely, and then we compete at four competitions throughout the season. And then I our, see. Okay. yeah, and then we have our adult program and our adult program goes by sessions. So they okay. do like a fall session, a spring session and, and a summer session. So with regards to the adult stuff, what kind of, what kind of dance do the adults tend to gravitate to? Yeah, so right now we have an adult hip-hop, adult contemporary, adult theater, adult tap, and a mid oh, adult jazz. So we, have, we offer all different styles of adult dance and adult ballet. Adult ballet tends to be the most popular, and then adult hip-hop. Okay, and, and what, are the, what are the typical skill levels that, uh, that people are at? Like if, if somebody all of a sudden wants to take this up, you know, if, 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 is this somewhere where a novice would go or, or is it somebody with more experience that you're looking at? Yeah, no. So brand new to dance. So if they're brand new to dance, they come in and we just place them in the proper level um, for their age. And for our adult programs, it's uh, again, all levels. So they're learning at their own level. They come into the class. They might've already danced as a child or are brand new and they're just working within their own level. And then for our younger students, they come in for an assessment and we place them in a level. I see. I see. Okay. All right. And uh, now uh, Autumn, are you a, are you a native of Cambridge? I am. Yeah. So I grew up in Cambridge. I went to Tate street. I went to St. Andrews. Then I went to Southwood. Yep. So you're a local gal. Very good. So yep. tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about what you love most about Cambridge. So, yeah. So I also live downtown Galt. So I love Cambridge one because we have like Galt, Hessler and Preston all are so different and have different uh, things to offer and different shops to offer. Um, but I chose downtown Galt uh, because of its beauty, the architecture, and also because I believe that there's more and more good coming into downtown Galt to create a positive change for everyone down there. Um, the other businesses that are downtown all are kind of along the same line of wanting to create a great change for our community and offer fantastic services closer to their homes. Yeah, it, 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 the downtown there is really, uh, really changing. It's really in transition. It looks really good. 
Yeah, there's a there's a lot to go, but I think that there's you know the more positive out that is down there, the less negative that we see. So it's just continuing to pump in positive downtown and getting people to know in our community what downtown has to offer them. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Now, um, how are you dealing with the uh, the COVID nineteen uh, uh, closures? Um, are you doing anything online or? or uh, what are you doing for your for your customers now? Yeah, so um, once it was like ending, like right before March break, we found out that the kids wouldn't be going back to school um, for you know th those two weeks after. Or now looking to see maybe it's going to be extended a little bit longer. So right away, I was kind of thinking for me, I never like there is no I'm giving up or we're stopping. It was thinking about okay, how can I still provide my services for my clients? How can I still get my, my students to continue to progress? Because I believe that we will be back in the studio before the season ends. So how do we, let's not stop, let's continue. So last Monday, we actually started um, offering all of our classes, our regular full schedule on Zoom. So the same platform as we're using right now. So um, today at 4.45, I'll log in. All my students for that class will log in with me and I'll take them through a full class. We're even adding on to year-end show choreography because we have a recital that we're, you know, hopefully to be able to be on stage for in June. And just keeping our students, like, having some kind of regular schedule right now because they've lost so much. They've lost school. They've lost other activities. They can't see their friends right now. So to be able to see each other on the Zoom platform and take class together, like they are so happy. Their faces are so happy. And it just, it makes all of our teachers so excited that we do have platforms um, such as this that we can continue to provide our services and keep our season going. Good, good for you guys. That's awesome. So um, now you had mentioned something about the season. How many seasons are there typically in a year? Is there, how many? Yeah, so we start just like <laughs> we start just like school. So we start in September, and we okay. run until the middle of June, and then we also run like summer okay. classes and summer camps. But those are separate. So if um, like if you're in our regular season program, then you're starting September and you're learning throughout the year, and then gearing up for a recital in June, and then we have summer, and then we start back again. So then they're layering on top of what they're learning every year. Good, good. Okay. And uh, you had mentioned something about teachers, plural. How many teachers do you have? So I have myself and three other teachers. So right now, each of my teachers, okay. uh, each night is take, um, teaching their classes out of their own home. So um, we're all running our full schedule, which is really, I, I couldn't do it without them unless everyone was on board to say, yes, let's continue and keep our season going. So everyone's kind of jumped on and, and a new learning curve. So uh, it's really awesome. My team is amazing, very all qualified and uh, like very dedicated teachers to our students. Excellent. Okay. Now, um, is there uh, anything that um, I should have asked you that I didn't through this process? Um, I don't think necessarily asked, but um, one movement I feel like we offer a little bit of a different um, environment than other studios. We have a zero tolerance for bullying. Um, one movement comes from the idea that it only takes one movement to create change. So by doing one thing positive for in a day, you can change someone's day, change someone's week, change someone's month. So that we're, we really are focused on, on training dancers that are not only technically strong and have strong performance skills, but are really authentically good humans. That they, because that's the skills to be able to, you know, pull each other up, to support each other, that everyone is on their own journey, and uh, to be gracious and kind. So we're really trying to make a, a really open and accepting family, um, not only within our dancers, but our families at the dance center. Well, that's awesome. That sounds like a great environment. It, I'm, I'm very grateful for the families that we have at the dance center and everyone, even during this time has been very supportive and uh, just coming together uh, to, you know, keep everything going. So we're there for everyone when this is all over. Perfect. For sure. sure. Now, do you have a, a, a website that we can direct people to or any kind of social media address? Yeah. So uh, one movement.ca is our okay. website. And Perfect. then 
Instagram would be one movement spelt out in word and then the number one at the end. Okay. And then we also have a Facebook page which just would just be one movement. And and the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Instagram and Facebook. Okay, great. And is there a phone number that somebody can reach you at? Yep. So it's uh five one nine email address. Yep. Uh seven four zero. Yep. Zero five five five. Okay. And email is one movement spelled out in words at outlook.com. Perfect. All right. Well, we'll be sure to add that onto your interview uh, taglines there. And uh, we certainly appreciate the time that you took and, um, and uh, hopefully you can fill the day with, uh, with lots more being that we're all locked into our homes these days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been choreographing like year and show recitals. I've been taking my own classes to keep up on stuff and just try to keep every day going as normal as I can to keep a routine. Awesome. Very good. Well, thanks so much for being a guest and uh, we'll definitely uh, let the I Love Cambridge group know about you and uh, we'll give you a quick uh, email as well just to let you know that the video is up online. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Autumn. Bye. Bye.